Hunter, who wants to be a millionaire. In this first edition, I shall be giving somebody the chance to win a virtual million pounds by simply answering 15 questions in a row correctly. Will you please welcome today's contestant, Luigi. Welcome, Luigi. Good evening to you. How are you feeling right about now? I'm feeling terrified, Christian. Well, you have nothing to be afraid of. I wish you the best of luck. Now, Luigi has to answer 15 questions in a row to win one million pounds. He has no time limit to answer the questions, so he can mull them over as long as he needs to. And if he gets stuck, there are three lifelines. 50-50, phone a friend, and ask the audience. So, ready to play? Yes. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Here comes the first question. It's worth £100. What name is given to a golfer's assistant? Caddy, Sherpa, Goofer, or Donkey? It's a caddy. Of course it is. You've got 100 straight away. Here's the next question for £200. According to the proverb, what should you not count before they hatch? Turkeys, geese, chickens, ducks. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. It's chickens, Christian. That's correct for £200. Now, take a look at this for £300. Who composes the music for the web animation RWBY? Jeff Williams, Luigi Boccherini, Ed Welsh, Paul Farrer. RWBY. Take your time, Luigi. You've still got your three lifelines if you need them. I'm going to go for Jeff Williams. You happy to go orange? Yes, please. You've got three hundred pounds. Now, you've got 300, but you could still go away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, and I hope you don't. So, have a look at this next one. It's worth 500 pounds. Which of these is the slowest swimming stroke? Butterfly, breaststroke, front crawl, or backstroke? Front crawl is fast, I believe. I'm not familiar with butterfly. I think breaststroke. Confident about that? Yes. Breaststroke. Final answer. Yes. That's good for £500. <laughs> You've still got all three lifelines left. 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Now, this next question takes you to your first milestone if you give me a correct answer. Here comes the next question for a guaranteed £1,000. With which musical instrument would you associate Elton John? Piano, trumpet, guitar, violin. His name definitely rings a bell somewhere. I can't see it being trumpet. Just remember that this is the last point in which you could still go away with absolutely nothing, so take as long as you need. I think I'm confident with my answer here. I'm going to go for piano. Piano. Final answer? Final answer. If you'd said trumpet, you'd have left here with absolutely nothing. But you didn't. You went with piano, and you've just bagged yourself a guaranteed £1,000.
You're doing very well, Luigi. You've got yourself a guaranteed £1,000 whatever happens now. But the jumps and drops start to get really big from this point onwards, so be very careful. You're now 10 questions away from £1 million, and you might as well play this next question because you can't lose here. This question is for £2,000. Which of these capital cities is in Asia? Cairo, New Delhi, Valletta, Sofia. I'm sure I've been to Africa recently. You can't lose on this question, so it is worth a go, but don't rush. Oh, this is so hard. I'm going to have to take a stab in the dark here. I'll go with New Delhi. How confident are you that it's New Delhi? Not much. But it sounds like the right answer. Is that your final answer? Final answer. You had a thousand pounds guaranteed. You've now got two thousand pounds. Now we're really moving into serious money, Luigi. You've got £2,000. This next question is for £4,000. Which of the following Doctor Who actors portrayed the titular role the longest? David Tennant, Tom Baker, John Pertwee, William Hartnell. How familiar are you with Doctor Who? My memory is very faint. I got told about it just the other day. Don't forget you've still got all three lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. I'm going to ask the audience on this one. You sure? Yes. OK audience, Luigi has decided to ask you for your help for £4,000. Which Doctor Who actor portrayed the titular role the longest? A, B, C or D? All votes now please. There's the result, the majority are swinging by a landslide towards B. But remember, it is your decision in the end, Luigi. Well, that really helps me. I'm going to go with the audience votes and say Tom Baker. Final answer. Yes, please. You had £2,000. And the audience were quite right to help you out here because they've just helped you double it to £4,000. <laughs> So, as you can see, the money ladder really climbs from here on in. The next question will take you past the halfway mark for the 15 correct answers you need for £1 million. Take a look at this next question, Luigi. It's worth £8,000. The RAF rank of Group Captain is the equivalent of which rank in the Army? Major. Colonel, Brigadier, Captain. I'm sure I've studied this somewhere down the line. I can't imagine it being a captain. Brigadier sounds too high. I can't even put a finger towards a major. 
you get this one wrong, you lose £3,000, remember. I think my gut instinct is telling me to go for Colonel. You're saying Colonel. Are you happy to go Orange? As happy as I'll ever be. Colonel is my final answer. If you'd said Captain, you'd have lost £3,000. If you'd said Brigadier, you'd have lost £3,000. You went with Colonel. And it's just won you £8,000! You've still got 50-50 and phone a friend, remember, so those two lifelines will come in handy if you need them. Now, you've got £8,000. The next question takes you into five figures. Get this next one wrong, you lose £7,000. Get this next question right, you could bank £16,000. Here it comes. In which winter sport does Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany. Skeleton. Curling. Skiing. Bobsleigh. Oh dear. Thank goodness I'm not Bradley Walsh. I'm determined not to laugh at this question myself. I didn't even think that ladies could be given such a name anymore. Which winter sport does Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? Skeleton, curling, skiing, bobsleigh. Take as long as you need on this question. It's worth £16,000. I'm confident I remember the answer from the chase. It became a huge viral hit with Bradley's reaction. The answer is skiing. You're going with skiing? Yes. Final answer? Final answer. You had £8,000. Not anymore. You've now got £16,000. <laughs> So this is it. The next question gets you to your next milestone. If you give me the correct answer to this next question, you're guaranteed a check for at least £32,000. But if you get this next question wrong, you lose a massive £15,000, so take it steady. Don't forget, however, you've still got those two lifelines if you need them, that's what they're there for. So here comes the question for £32,000. In the TV series, Dallas, who shot J.R. Ewing? Kristen Shepard, Ray Krebs, Cliff Barnes, Lucy Ewing. Dallas. I'm sure I've heard that name somewhere or other. Who shot J.R.? This question is for a guaranteed £32,000 if you give me a correct answer, Luigi. But you don't have to play it if you don't want to. I'm going to go 50-50, please. 50-50? Yes, please. So, you're going 50-50. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please, leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. You've been left with A and B. Does that help you some more, Luigi? That helps me perfectly. I was torn between two answers again, and now that one is gone, I'm confident it's A, Kristen Shepard. Are you happy with your answer? Yes. 
Don't forget that this question will cost you £15,000 if you're wrong, but the right answer will get you a guaranteed £32,000. I'm going for A, please. Final answer. Yes. You had £16,000. You could have lost 15000 on this one. If you'd gone for Ray Krebs, you'd have lost all that money. Time for me to get my checkbook and pen out. You've now got a guaranteed £32,000. Well, would you look at that. There's a cheque for a guaranteed £32,000. But we don't want to give you that. We'd really like to give you a cheque for £64,000. You might as well play this next question because you cannot lose on it. A right answer will double your money to £64,000. Take a look at question 11 of 15. What is the capital of South Africa? Port Elizabeth, Johannesburg, Hirari, Cape Town. You couldn't have given me a better question. I love geography. You're quite confident about this answer already? I am Christian. It's Cape Town. You're going for Cape Town. Yes, please. Final answer. You had a cheque for a guaranteed £32,000. You've now got a cheque for £64,000. <laughs> well, look at you, Luigi. You're doing really well, my lad. There's the cheque for £64,000. But we can still give you more if you give us the correct answer to the next question. This next question takes you into the six-figure range. It's worth £125,000 if you get it right. This is question number 12 of 15. Here it comes. World War I ended on November the 11th, 1918. But on which day of the week was this? Wednesday Sunday Monday Friday Well, there's only seven days in the week. But oh my, November 11th, 1918. Don't forget, you've still got your phone-a-friend lifeline if you need it. This is going to be another stab in the dark, Christian. I'm going to have a guess at Monday. How confident are you that it's Monday? Not very but I'm not very confident about the other answers either. You don't have to play this if you don't want to. You can walk away with £64,000, but that's entirely up to you. No, I'm going to play. Alright, which day was November the 11th, 1918, the end of World War I? I'll say, Monday. Final answer? Final answer. This question is worth £125,000. If you'd said Sunday, you'd have lost 32000 If you'd said Friday, You'd have lost 32,000. But you've 
given me the right answer, and you've now got £125,000. Fantastic work! <laughs> wow, Luigi, you must have one good brain in there. You're just three questions away from one million pounds. This check is for £125,000 if you decide to walk away. But if you get the next question wrong, you lose £93,000, and that's certainly a spike and a half. If, however, you give me the correct answer to the next question, you will win a quarter of a million pounds. Remember that you still have your phone-a-friend lifeline if you need it. This is question 13. Which king was married to Eleanor of Aquitaine? Henry I, Richard I, Henry V, Henry II. Oh, this takes me back to the first ever million pound winner. Another one for the memory bank, huh? Definitely. Don't forget that you drop £93,000 if this answer is wrong. I know. But I definitely remember this answer. It's Henry II. You are very confident about that? I am. It's Henry II. Final answer. Yes, please. You said that you remembered this from the first million pound winner ever. But unlike with her, she answered this question for one million pounds. You're answering it for a quarter of a million. obviously have a very good memory because it's just bagged you a quarter of a million pounds. <laughs> well, well, well. Not quite three holes in the ground in this case because this next check is for a quarter of a million pounds. But we don't want to give you that. We would really like to give you the next cheque for £500,000. That's half a million. You're now only two questions away from one million pounds. And you still have your phone a friend. The penultimate question will cost you £218,000 if it is wrong. Take a look at question 14 of 15. Which king in history followed James II to the English throne? Charles II Richard III James III Charles I Oh boy, another history question. You still have your phone a friend if you need it, remember. I might as well use it. Who will you call? My brother Mario. Okay, let's give him a bell. Hello? Mario? Yes? Hi Mario, it's Christian England on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, Natalia. Hello, Christian. Hello there. I've got your brother Luigi here. He's stuck on a question for half a million pounds. I'll do my best. 
Okay, the next voice you hear will be Luigi's. He'll give you the question, and there are four possible answers. You've got 30 seconds to help him out with the one correct answer. Good luck, Luigi. Your time starts now. Hi, Mario. Which king in history followed James II to the English throne? Charles II, Richard III, James III, or Charles I? It's definitely Charles II. I'm pretty sure of it. How sure? Nine-tenths constant. Okay, thank you, Mario. You're welcome. So, your brother says that the answer is A, but remember, you don't have to go with what he says. If you think it's a different answer, you can go for something else. I've known my brother too long to call him a liar. I'm going to go with what he said, Charles II. Final answer. Yes. You will lose £218,000 if your brother has misled you. But you said that you'd known him too long to be lying. He certainly wasn't leading you up the garden path this time, he's just won you half a million pounds! Well, this is it, Luigi. This check is for £500,000. But we don't want to give you that. We would really like to give you a check, and we can, for £1,000,000, if you give us the answer to the 15th and final question in your road to a million. You don't have to play this question if you don't want to, because if you give me a wrong answer, you lose £468,000 and you've used up all three of your lifelines, so you are completely on your own here. Here we go. This is the one million pound question. In Monopoly, what is the total price of every property deed combined, including train stations and utilities? 4,780 6,180 5,340 5,690 Am I one of few people in the world who has never had the time to play Monopoly? My goodness! I'm going to have to do my maths here. Take as long as you need, Luigi. I think, I've come up with 5,340. This is for one million pounds, be absolutely sure. 4,780 is too low. 6,180 is too high. I'm positive that it's C. 5,340. Is that your final answer? It is, yes. You've played.
played an outstanding game up to this point. This was the one million pound question. If you'd said 4,780, you'd have lost 468,000. If you'd said 6,180, you'd have lost a lot of money. But if you'd said 5,690, I'd have written out the million pound check, I'm sorry! It was 5,690! So near, but yet so far, Luigi. I'm afraid the last question has stumped you, and you leave here with a check for £32,000. Well, Luigi has left with £32,000, and that's actually not too bad when you think about it. Even in today's world, it goes a long way when used wisely. But oh, how we'd have loved to see a millionaire in the first episode. Hopefully, you all enjoyed watching as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. I've been Christian England. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.